men and women are different. Yeah. It's okay and... to be honest about that. It's not saying one's better. No. Different is, it's, it's okay to be different. Right. In many ways, some people actually think it's, you know, a good thing to have diversity. <laughs> God damn it, Tina, I told you! <laughs> What'd you say? Don't start with me, I ain't in the mood today, all right? Oh, you ain't in the mood? <laughs> wow, what a segue. I guess we're heading right into it, aren't we? Do you know the name Charles Lucia Riker? No. Lucia Riker was a very famous... She's still alive. She's in her 60s now, I think, but... Okay. She was the What's female... No, she doesn't die in this. No. no. She was the Dutch female kick i think european maybe world kickboxing women's champion nice for years she was so dominant in the sport she was nicknamed the the female mike tyson hey jackie you punk ass white boy come here and tell me that if i fuck you in your ass you punk white boy you faggot you can't touch me you're not man enough nice because in like 36 matches nobody could go <laughs> I, and he was like 36 and 0 25 by knockout most wow. of them in like the first or second round. She was just, okay, she was just destroying. a dominant, dominant champ. She was Michael Jordan. Everybody else was just some guy. Stop it. Get some help. That's how good she was. Okay. okay. Like by age 14, she was a national champion. By age 14. She's, oh. She was a phenom. Okay. Okay. Somebody got the great idea that we should do an intergender match. This was in like 1987. Okay. Somebody decided... She should fight a guy. And they went out and got some guy. Not like the champion kick some guy. Just some guy. His his name was Some Chai Jai Di. <laughs> he didn't make guy. that up, right? No. He was just some dude. Some Chai so Jai Di. So some dude no one's ever really heard of before. And just... But he was available, okay. he was in the weight class, and he was willing to do it for the money they were offering. <laughs> awesome. It is a great demonstration. They're both about the same size. They're in the same weight class. She was five okay. six. So it's not like they got somebody who's two hundred pounds heavier than her or anything crazy. No, they're they, both the same weight. She's five six. She fought at five six one forty, I believe, one thirty eight. I mean, she's a she's a trim woman. Okay, athletic. Okay. So they and got the guy was the same weight class. So I think that's why they didn't have a whole lot of choice. You needed somebody oh, who's yeah, a yeah. flyweight <laughs> or a featherweight. <laughs> But, yeah, there's not a lot of people who uh, fit that, but all right, all right. It's but 5'8", 140 pounds on a female is different than 5'8", 140 pounds on a man that went through male puberty. <laughs> Bone structure becomes different. Lung capacity is different. Yes. Muscular density, different. different. Neurological response, different. Not to say better or worse or more... Va no. The genders are different, different. in many ways, physiologically. Yes. And this was a stupid idea from the beginning. A lot of people were like, you're nuts. She's going to get hurt. Don't do this. Ah, fuck you. We know what we're doing. Gender equality. Ah. That was a big deal. I remember. And it went down pretty much as you'd expect. <laughs> <laughs> so exactly what you think is going to happen, that is exactly what's about to happen here. I, I mean, you'll see. They went through the first round, and it uh, was pretty boring. Okay. The second round ends with you watching the screen oh my god is she dead oh my god oh my god oh my god she died in the ring jesus christ someone's gonna die in the ring oh my god you, some okay. guy some guy I mean, his name is basically some guy <laughs> he's won some fights he's lost some fights couple of ko's nothing spectacular going on here he's just some dude a dude all right so i'm gonna skip forward a bit okay, here good, yeah um and i, I don't Ow. know if um I don't know if they were, like, priming her for a career. Like, she was going to be, like, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Like, maybe we could make a TV star out of her. Because I mean, she was... She was, well, she was young. More sense. She was pretty. She was charismatic. She was good on camera. They're like, hey, maybe we can parlay this into something else. Wow. And it's, and I love how the guy's like, you know what? I'm not going to hold back. Well, no, because... I, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to hurt her bad. This this is one of those lose lose situations, right? Because even if he wins, oh, oh, congratulations, you beat up a girl, right? Good for you, Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. What are you doing? Yeah, either you get beat up by a sixty year old man, or oh bravo, you beat up a sixty year old man with traumatic brain injury. Bravo, bravo. yeah, it's a lose lose. Yeah, and I, I remember sparring 
when girls would come into the fight gym and I would ask them, I, I, I don't, I would tell them up front, I, I don't feel really comfortable about this. I don't know how hard I should go. And even if they said, oh, just, just go full blast, I want to feel everything that you got. I wouldn't. No. Because I'm not going to fucking hurt someone. Right. <laughs> I, I would tap them. I'd let and them know that this is where your skills need work, but I'm not going to. No. I'm not trying to embarrass or hurt someone or teach them a lesson or discourage them from the sport. Right. But I am going to teach them. You need to do this because I'm, <laughs> my fucking hook is finding the side of your skull every time. <laughs> Gently, right. but enough that you realize, oh, if I do this, he can't hook my skull anymore. But it's a lose-lose. If one of them connected with an elbow because I wasn't paying attention and knocked me on my ass. Right. Well, now my tooth is... Ch I, so, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, I was yeah, never... yeah. So, so, yeah, the same thing here where if this guy wins, he's beaten up a girl. If he loses, he just lost to a girl. So I completely, so yeah, I completely understand these high school wrestlers that when they, they're in some tournament and they understand they're fighting one of, there's a hundred competitors and two of them are girls and they find out they've drawn one of the girls. A lot of them will withdraw and just say, I, I, I don't feel comfortable. I'm not going to do gonna this. I'm not going to do this. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to manhandle this poor girl. Right. <laughs> or and, even hold back and lose or go full force and still lose. Either way. Yeah. I, I think I, about here's where things start going bad. Oh, this is where it was round two. This is where he's got his... He's going to start hitting a lot harder now. Well, I, I'm not sure what was going through this guy's head. We never really got interviews because nobody gave a shit what he thought. Well, right. But here's where it gets scary. Oh, Her head bounces off the canvas oh. and the medical staff comes rushing in. And oh, it's the most hit. disturbing images. Her, his coach, her coach cradling her head like, oh my god, this is fucking horrible. Look at this shit. What the... F it's, it's like Rocky holding, look at holding Apollo. Ow! Ow! Bow. Jeez! <laughs> I mean, she's almost certainly suffered a concussion. Yeah. Which happens in boxing, I get it. Sure, but I mean... Ow! Right there, right there. Bow. It was a left, right, left. Down you go. <sighs> what are we doing? I don't know. As a society. <laughs> are you really proud of yourself? Are you really... What are you proud of? Winner, some chai jai di. Okay, no shit. Great. You enjoy that trophy, dumbass. So again, uh, we are the yeah. first to stand up for any group of oppressed people. Absolutely, we will always come to your defense, man. Absolutely, but please don't, oh, don't, don't kid ourselves. This is stupid. There is no reason for stuff like this to happen in the world. No, no, and I, I don't. <laughs> I mean, even okay. Billy Jean King wants to play tennis against a guy. All right, the play go play tennis. I guess it's dumb. But don't so, I mean, don't go into a sport like this, like this boxing, and think that men and women are <laughs> built physically the same, because we're not. And I, no matter how much you you want it to be in your mind, we're not. When I was in and, Los Angeles. I got to roll around a couple times with Ronda Rousey before she got famous. Okay. I, she was already an Olympian, so she was famous, but she hadn't done UFC or WWF yet. She was... I went into the gym like, oh, do you know who that is? No. It's Ronda Rousey. Who's that? Oh, cool. Olympic judo gold medal. Holy oh. shit, Olympic judoka. I gotta, I gotta go roll with her. She tossed you around. <laughs> you may as well not. You may as well, it's like me fighting a three-year-old. She, she could just <laughs> throw me through the window with her fingers if she wanted to. Nice. <laughs> but if I'm switched to MMA, right? if I catch her with a lucky, I'm going to break her jaw. It, it's fucking right. stupid. <laughs> so, I, uh, I don't know, yeah, man. Yeah, I... I'm all for equality. But... Come on. I don't think this is what we meant. There's a... There, there was big news that the first ever woman is going to play NCAA football. She's a kicker. Okay. On some D3 team. All right. Like <laughs> Southern Louisiana Mudbog State or some bullshit school <laughs> like that. And she's the kicker. Okay. okay. Well, what happens if I'm on the opposing team, special teams, and they flub the snap, and she's right in front of me now? Oh. And we're going full force. What do I do? I don't know. Do I tackle the shit out of her? Do I back off? Again. What do I do? 
Again, it's a lose-lose lose lose. for that defensive play. What do I do? <laughs> I need to get the ball. I can't let this runner cross scrimmage and get a first down. What do I do? Nobody thought of that. They just thought, oh, she's a kicker. They never get hit. Well, sometimes, sometimes. they do. <laughs> sometimes a kicker has to, oh, shit, and pick up the ball and stuck holding it like a loaf of bread. And usually, some giant black DB comes up behind him and, <laughs> and it makes the top 10 on ESPN. Are you going to do that to this 19-year-old girl? Man. Because she had a good soccer leg? Wow. Or do I hold back and lose the game? Because a, because a girl got it. Because I'm not going to do I break the spine? What do you want me to do? It's a lose-lose. Nobody thought further than the six inches in front of their face. She wants to play football. What She's is... earned her spot. She can kick as good as the men. She should go play football. Okay. I mean, are, are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. If you're on the other team, do you just kind of look at your coach like, I don't, I, 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 don't, I mean, what? Huh? <laughs> I see so many confused faces. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, you know, these, these boxers, I don't, I don't like it. I don't know. In the this Olympic gender, quasi gender stuff, it's so complex, and for some reason we're afraid to talk about it openly and honestly. Just talk about it openly and honestly, right? This is a bad idea. Yeah, this should not have been allowed. This, <laughs> this poor girl, this, this right here, <laughs> <laughs> this is a bad idea. Oh, she gets hurt so bad. Look at her, she's like, I got this. I could fight any man. Oh boy. Did boom and it. Now she's got a severed spine and uh, there goes her TV career. I mean no nobody wants know, to oh see Nobody wants to see anybody get hurt in the ring, right? They're not soldiers. They're right. Competitors, they're athletes. They're it's athletes, a, it's competitors, a they're, it's a they're, game. they're exhibitionists basically. It's it's No, I'm an <laughs> exhibitionist. Oh, okay. This is an yeah, exhibition they're, they're match. Like, you know, it's like auto auto erotica. Is that what this is? No, no, these are the real uh, <laughs> workers of Jurassic Park. Um, but imagine she's got a husband and children, and her children are watching this on TV. It's fucking terrifying, man. There you go. It's so complex. Well, as always, we would love to get your thoughts and opinions, so make sure you leave some comments down below. Let us know what you think about this whole thing. <laughs> Let us know if you watch this and just start laughing hysterically. Or <laughs> uh, you know what? Just tell us anything. I don't even give a shit anymore. I mean, th this guy, the guy puts his arms up like he's like just, he just wants like something Buster amazing. <laughs> I, I remember I was in the studio. I th threw some goofy kick against some kid I was sparring with, and I he blocked it wrong, and I broke one of his fingers. Because he kind of went, ah, instead of blocking properly. Right, I right. Know, Whatever he did, he did something oh. like with his hands out. And my foot caught his and broke his finger. And he was in a cast for like six weeks. And I felt like such an asshole. Right. Because you didn't mean like, to do oh that. Oh my God, Ben, I'm so sorry. Holy sh... It was entirely his fault. Right. <laughs> but I still felt guilty about it. I didn't walk around with my arms up like I just knocked out Mike Tyson. <laughs> do you remember, you and I went to a boxing match, a live boxing match, once... And, I've gone and to many. I took you once you took to fight once, night at the I'd, palace. I'd never seen it before. And after the main fight, everybody started leaving. And I was like, dude, there's like one more fight happening. And you looked at me and you were like, oh my God, sit down. You need to watch this. And in comes this muscular tank. Because at the end, it's the amateurs. Right. So making this, their first debut. This guy from back where we were sitting, he looked like he was eight <laughs> feet tall. He looked like he was built like Thanos. He just comes walking out. And then here comes this little five foot nothing chubby but out of But still room. weighs 240 pounds. <laughs> I mean, that dude was just very round. <laughs> I mean, he made the weight class. That's the only reason he was there. Yeah, you're a heavyweight, but not the same as this heavyweight. He was built like a donut. And the two, the bell rings, the guy comes at him, and the little guy goes, ah, and just falls over and starts rolling away from him. And... <laughs> And I was like, what the hell is going on? And everybody's leaving. No one even wanted to watch this. I feel like that's what's, that's what this was. Like, if you zoomed out, everybody had already left. By the end of round one, people were already leaving. Like, I don't need to see this. I already know how this is going to turn out. I, I don't want to watch this. Or they should be hollering, put a stop to this, man. <laughs>
This isn't gladiators. Come <laughs> out. Man. All right. I think that's all we got. I, I guess. I guess. So. I don't want people to misunderstand and saying think we're saying women aren't capable or women shouldn't be allowed to compete no. or anything stupid like we're not no, saying no, no 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 nothing like that anything of That's the sort but this is a stunt that just didn't need to happen you risk someone's safety men and women are different yeah it's okay and... to be honest about that it's not saying one's better no. different is it's it's okay to be different right in many ways some people actually think it's you know a good thing to have diversity. <laughs> it's okay to be different. We don't have to be all right, carbon and, copies and, of the same shit. And then you didn't have to prove yourself or anything like that by doing this. Yeah. This mm. proves nothing. Reckless dumb stunt. Yeah. Completely unnecessary. And very risky. Very. All right. Don't risk your safety. <laughs> That's all we got. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see you in another episode. Yeah. Later.